Federico Malaman is a base genius and the funkiest Italian who has ever walked this globe. He has been with my own spaces for a long time and here's their new love child, the Jabba Malaman 5. <laughs> Hi, lovely subscribers. If you haven't subscribed yet, I guess now would be a great time to join us. The only bass channel on YouTube, I think. So Federico Wallermann, he's an incredible player and just a very fun and brilliant guy to be around. His new Mayon signature bass is a modern high-end workhorse that combines elements of all of Uncle Leo's most famous creations. We find a asymmetrical jazz bass inspired body and neck, a P bass pickup and a fat music man style humbucker at the bridge. It's all of these bases and none of these bases. Federico and the Mayon's crew took all of those inspirations and made this their own thing. The most interesting part about the space are the pickups, so let's cut right to the chase. These new pickups are actually made by Mayons. They call them Valve Drone. The neck pickup goes by the name of Probus 5. Its pull pieces sit perfectly flush in their plastic cover. That's a cool way to have them exposed but still well protected from the strings. This pickup, at least in this bass, sounds a little bit more hollow than a typical vintage uh, P-Bass pickup, but as it turns out, I actually like that. The bridge pickup, they call it Muscle 5, which is a cool name, is one of those hamburgers that's so powerful it reacts to every little thing you're doing. This pickup is probably the strongest statement this bass makes. It's rich, it's powerful, it's dynamic, it's a sweet spot on its own and in its beauty matched only by our merch. Links in the description. <laughs> My own spaces are known for their stunning craftsmanship. I think I've never played a bad my own, not even a boring one. But this one here, this is something special. This is on a completely different level. I think I've played only one other my own, which I like this much, and this was Hadrian's first signature, the one with the spruce top. This chopper here has everything I'm looking for in a bass. Great playability, good weight, and even sound across a very comfortable neck, inspiring pickup sounds, great natural resonance, high quality hardware, and instant access to all the serviceable parts. This right here is the real deal. 10 out of 10. <laughs> There's one more thing about these pickups. If you're actually using both at the same time in the middle position, they will actually cancel each other out a tiny little bit. That means there's a slight volume drop. I personally, I don't like that too much, but uh, when we look at the entire concept, it kind of makes sense because I think this space is made to cover a wide range of very different sounds. We have the Music Man pickup in the bridge position, we have a P-Bass pickup in the neck, and then we have this complex electronics, which allows us to just alter all these sounds even more. In the middle position with the slight volume drop, of course this, the volume drop is annoying, but I think the sound itself is very interesting and I think it actually adds to what the space is giving us. Also the bridge pickup has this little switch here, which allows you to play it in serial, parallel or as a single coil. But enough about the pickups, now let's take a look behind the scenes. The Jabba Malaman 5, and yes that's the actual name, comes with a sassafras body. The wood crane looks like a mix of swamp ash and corina. The bird's eye poplar top is colored in antique violet raw and kept in a translucent natural mud. It's a beautiful piece of wood and definitely a bit fancy, but not over the top. See what happens if you skip the gold hardware, Hadrian? An interesting choice here is that they didn't fill all the holes, which these kind of poplar tops naturally have. Usually you would fill that with epoxy, which adds quite a bit of weight in some tops, but not here. Obviously. The maple neck is bolted on with six screws and comes with a Pau Ferro fretboard, 24 jumbo frets and a 9.5 inch radius. That means this neck is a lot closer to a fender than Hadrian's bass, which comes with a very flat 20 inch fingerboard. The tuners are hip shot, the bridge is Mayon's lovely own design and the preamp is an active 3 band EQ with separate control for passive tone. <laughs> Mal 
Dollar Man, my favorite superhero, and damn has he got a great new signature bass. Congratulations to everyone involved, this really is a stunning instrument. I think I've mentioned everything, I mean there's obviously the binding and the plug and lace and I mean this really red neck transition, but I guess that's it. I mean if you ever get a chance to try one of those, don't hesitate, definitely try it out. This bass is just a great example to show what my own spaces are, what they can do and what they stand for, at least how I see them. This is just an incredible instrument, it's very well made, it's incredibly resonant and it's, I mean it's built for one of the best bass players of a time, so... I guess that's good. And that's it for the video. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please don't hesitate to smash the like button below and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more of those. And leave a comment and buy our merch and do all the things. I'm out. Bye bye.